hi everybody, welcome back to another one of our fabulous videos. I'm delighted to welcome Maeve, um, who is going to talk to us today about Toe Camp. Maeve, maybe introduce yourself, what unit you're in and how long you've been with the organisation. Okay, um, my name is Maeve Heaney, I'm a leader in Holy Family in Belfast. I've been a leader almost 25 years and as my sister says, I joined I joined guides at or James at eight and never have never left. So here quite a while. Great. And tell us, um, you were involved like a lot in Toe Camp this year. For people who yep. don't know what Toe Camp is, maybe explain to us what what that's what what it involves and who it involves. Okay. So I am the one of the joint um camp chiefs. So we have two camp chiefs, one from CGI. Um, one from the Northern Ireland Scout Association. So there are partners in Toe Camp. So camp's been run nearly 30 years, I think, about this at this stage. Um, so it's a camp for guides and scouts from basically anywhere. And we get guides from all over the country coming to it. It's a weekend of activities, happens biannually, end of June every year, always around my birthday. And um, so we have, um, we basically have about Five last camp we had about 400, 500 guides and scouts that came down to camp, plus about a hundred leaders, so quite a lot. Um, we've been running say by and for a couple of years. We had to take a wee break over COVID, with everything planned. We just had to cancel it, so we were able to bring it back in this year. So we were delighted to bring it back, and I think everybody who came was delighted. So we have a period of about a year leading up to it, where the core team are planning activities, so we're getting to start again. Um, so on Thursday night, we have a lot of groups that come down, set up tents. We even have groups come up from Dublin who decide they want to do it because they just want to arrive and have fun. So on Friday evening, um, groups arrive. We do have a barbecue for, the char- for a charity. Um, we have getting everybody set up, informal activities, and we would um, then have campfire. And it's just about meeting everybody and the guys coming up to you and telling you about how they've met new friends and all that sort of stuff. And they meet no friends because some of the girls have been at different camps before. So then we try and get everybody to bed, which is a great start. And then we have an early start. So you can imagine the noise of that field on a Saturday morning and um, with everybody trying to get up and ready. So we breakfast, so all the food's cooked for them. So it's a great sign for camp. And then the girls and boys pick up their packed lunches and head off for activities. So they all get different coloured scarves, head off for a day full of activities. Um, they will be in groups, they're not all. So if you have 20 guides going, you'll have maybe five groups of four. So they're all going off and experiencing different things. So this year's activities, we had zip line in. Um, we had the coaster ride for um, the new activities in Colin Glen, activity, cl- climbing activities there. We were drum, drumming with dragon boats at the beach. We had a range of different things. So full day of activities. And um, some of the guests were in um Belfast Activity Centre. They were doing canoe and caving, you name it. So they were doing it. Had great fun. We had great fun going out and visiting them all of the day. That is brilliant. And what was the highlight from your side? Um, like obviously you've spent a year organizing this, which is in which is an amazing commitment. But tell me what the kind of highlight was with the with the girls and boys. For me, the highlight is always Saturday night dinner and disco. So you've got the girls that come back. Um, for my own girls, when they come back and they're telling me all the things they've done. And I know all the things they've done, but I'm hearing this from their side. And they're introducing me to their new friends they've made. Um, they'll be friends. They'll be um, some of them, like one of my girls introduced me to a group of guards and they were from Dublin and I knew their leader so it was lovely for that then we have the disco and just the atmosphere down there it always just reminds you of a festival atmosphere the girls and boys they're just dancing having great fun and activities and they're just it's just such a lovely atmosphere but and the weather stayed with us for that one so we were very lucky that's great because you can never be sure that Sunday morning We'll have the fate. Um, so each of the groups will re- will organise a different um stall, and they'll run it and to raise money for a local charity. So this year we chose Be Positive, and um, 
it was a little boy who he actually was a scout and his family were involved in scouting and he sadly he sadly passed away and so his mum and dad came to get the money from the charity so they're raising money in his awareness um for about children who have um who have been diagnosed with cancer and supporting their families so they were they just loved coming down especially because they had been involved in guides and scouts and so how that was wonderful lovely. is that yeah so we were able to present them I can't remember them right off the top of my head I think it's about 1500 pounds or something fantastic that's so brilliant. It was lovely yeah that's brilliant and then we have guides and scouts zone and everybody heads home that is we're, we're all wrecked for another year I would say, yeah. yeah, and then go, we'll never do it again. And then you do. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We used to try and exhaust the girls on camp, but it never worked, um, unfortunately. Yeah. But um, so then, and and for your own unit, it's a very special weekend that's just passed. You're yep. 50 years young. Yes, we've been celebrating 50 years of Holy Family Guide Unit this weekend. So we had a lovely celebration on Saturday in Holy Family Church, where we had our enrollment and a mass to celebrate 50 years. And um, we also, so we had all of our young people who were getting enrolled in their families. And we also had um, some of our former leaders from over the years who came back. Um, unfortunately, through the years, we lost a lot of our photographs and things in a fire and some bits and pieces. But we had some bits and pieces, including some of the photographs that had the burnt edges that I rescued out of the fire. And other people brought photographs. And we had such a lovely day on Saturday. The kids had fun with um slushy machines and popcorn and set the smoke alarm off but you're watching you like that it's not a good event if you do that but we had just such a lovely atmosphere of parents chatting and you know even leaders catching up with parents who they would have known over the years and um, so that was lovely and we are the, the leadership going, we want to meet up with you again we want to have another chat about it all um the girls had a lovely thing and we got some lovely pictures and stuff like that as well so it was a great day incredible um, we're all wrecked after it but it was good was it was fantastic um, and yeah. yeah and even you know three of the, we were very lucky Holy Family Parish are very supportive of the guides and um, we got a special prayer of faithful at the mass read out for Beautiful. us and things like that so it was lovely yeah that's amazing so, and imagine all yeah. the girls like lives that you've developed and made more confident yeah that's when we were sort of counting you know back even the number of years you know we were very strong in it you know we always have been and we have quite a big number now, but, you know, even when I joined, we had two Virginia companies and a guide company at that stage. So, you know, when you think about the number of, we were talking about going hundreds and thousands of girls from the parish and the right now that we've had over the years. Well, congratulations. Yeah. It's an incredible achievement, Maeve. Well done. Um, and thanks so for talking to us me. today about Toe Camp. And I'm sure after that uh, discussion, everybody's going to be excited to go next year. So, yeah, you'll probably have more. Two years time. Two years time, sorry. Well, every two years, yeah. Okay. Two years time, yeah. We're, we're oh, biannual, yeah. Okay. Can't do it. We, yeah, 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 no, you can't do it every year. There's yeah, no yeah. way we can do that. It might not work. But yeah, we're just putting the team together now for the next one. Fantastic. Thanks, Maeve. Super. No problem.